Hi there, I'm Karen McCarthy and it's time to Karenize. Today's Friday and that's when we do some crafting. Today I'm gonna take a jar. I've got the lid over here. I tried painting it, that wasn't working, so I'm gonna do something different. This might have had, I don't know, pickles or something in it. Doesn't still smell like it. And I'm going to take a little pill bottle and we're gonna make a, pr a present for a friend of mine who just got a huge promotion at work. So I've made, and we're gonna have a little, if it works out, we're gonna have a little gnome on top of the, the lid and it's going to be holding the sign, I'm the boss. <laughs> I think she'll get a kick out of it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, cause it's gonna have to dry, is decoupage. We're gonna see, we're gonna see if this will cover up the words or not. If not, I might have to glue something onto the, the lid first. So first of all, I'm going to separate the ply, the layers of the napkin. <laughs> Get my tongue out like a little kid. This one only has two ply. Sometimes they have more. If you don't do that, it, it can work, but sometimes it can kind of pucker because the decoupage doesn't get through to the top layer. I save this and use it just like a paper towel or something. So, it almost covers it. I think what I'll do is do two layers. Oh, I forgot to put you down here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna get my decoupage, and of course, I don't have my little brush. I'll be right back. I used it to try to paint the lid, and that didn't work, so we'll just get out our Mod Podge. And just put some on the top of the lid. I'm gonna have it kind of wrap over the edge a little bit. I'm gonna trim it out with some ribbon, but I don't wanna have a rough edge on the top of the, the jar, so I will overlap it just a little bit. So just put a nice, decent coat on. And I'm just gonna put the why am I not having the things I need? Oh, here it is. Oh, God. Because I tried doing this a little, ago, a little bit ago and it didn't work, so I moved everything. Okay, I'm going to use this to just blot it on there really nice. And yeah, the, the lettering does show through pretty well. But if you use a saran wrap or a plastic bag, then you won't get all the puckers and wrinkles. If you try to smooth it out with your fingers on something this delicate, it can tear the material or the, the paper. So I'm just gonna cut this off. What I should have done was taken this out and spray painted it because that would stick, but we'll try this. It's cold outside in Montana right now. I really didn't wanna go out there and spray paint. Put another layer on. And then just put another layer of the napkin on. I've never done this before, so we'll see how it works. Oh yeah, that covered up the words really well. Okay, I'm... <laughs> I don't know if you heard the dog, but the mail person must be here because they love the mail lady. She brings biscuits and she's really a sweet person, so they absolutely adore her. He gets so excited when he sees her coming up the street. All right, I am just gonna let that dry over here before I try to trim it up or anything. So let me get all of that out of the way. I didn't bring a thing of water over, so I'm just gonna go put this brush in the sink so it doesn't dry out. And now we're going to start with the gnome. Let me get this way over here so I don't touch it accidentally. Okay, so I've got my pill bottle and someplace here I had already cut out. I just measured a piece of cloth. Wasn't sure what her favorite color was, so I found this tie-dye material that I had and I thought, well, it's probably in there. Although somebody told me navy blue and I don't see that, but she'll be okay. And I just cut it just roughly the size of the bottle. And what I'm going to do is just glue that on. It doesn't have to go all the way because we're gonna have some a beard here. So let's see if my glue gun is hot. I put a little bit of rice in there 
In fact, I want to just glue the lid a little bit just to give it a little bit of weight since we're going to be gluing it onto a uh, um, the lid, I don't know if it's going to need a lot of weight, but I just put a little bit in it. Okay, glued that down. And now we will, whoops, need to get some glue sticks. Just realized I forgot to bring my beard over. Might have to stop and start the video and get the beard. Actually, I'll, I'll cut it out while you're here so that if you have never cut out the faux fur, you'll know how to do it. Because it does take a different technique than traditionally cutting material. All right, I'm just gonna put that on there. I didn't make a little hem. I think I'm gonna make a little hem real quick. Because this is probably gonna be maybe on her desk or something at work, you wanna have it looking finished on all sides. Normally I wouldn't worry too much. And I'm sure the beard will probably cover this, but just in case, I just want it to look really nice. You know how you do things nicer for someone else than you do for yourself? <laughs> Not that you're putting yourself down, but you just don't, you don't want to um, have it not be perfect. Or sort of perfect. We don't ever go for complete perfection. And I decided it is going to be covered by the beard, so I'm not going to do that on this other side. Don't know what I was thinking. Ugh, I get hot glue all over my fingers and fingernails and then... I feel like a big klutz. All right, now I've got to decide, do I want to use, I think I do, I wish this was live so you could tell me, because I've got white, gray, brown, but then I've got this that I'm using for the Highland Cows. I kind of think I like that, and that might even be a big enough beard, this little piece that I have left. So, uh, there it is. I knew I had a piece that was messing me up. Okay, I'm gonna just, cut this extra off the top because we don't need, I just want it just right up to the lid. The hat is going to cover the rest of it. Do you ever have those days when you feel like you're all thumbs? I'm having one of those. I don't know why. <laughs> ah, there we go. Whoops. Okay, and then I'm just going to get the edges all glued down. My goodness, I have pieces of beard all over the place here. I hate throwing things away, but I think those are little enough that I'm not gonna use them for anything. Okay, then I wanna just kinda glue the top down really well, just so it'll lay flat under the hat. So if you're watching, I'd love to have you tell me where you're from. And if you do any crafting, um, I'm kind of known by a lot of people as the gnome lady here in town because about a year ago, about maybe a year and a half ago, almost, um, started doing gnome workshops. And we were doing a gnome of the month club, but we're kind of expanding into Highland cows now. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, I wanna grab my comb. Now faux fur, has a tendency to shed a lot, so I'm just gonna try to get out most of that shedding stuff and get it looking kind of tidy. And then I'm going to glue the beard right on the front here. If you do that little twirly thing, sometimes it helps to not have all of those strings flying around. Okay, so now I'm, and I didn't show you how to cut faux fur. This is not a very big piece, but do you see underneath the faux fur is a fabric backing? When you're cutting it, I'll show you a couple of things. Oh, it won't work on this. I was gonna show you what it does. If you're cutting it, well, yeah, it will. Sorry, I can't even think today. So I'm gonna comb this out. So this is the direction that the fur is going. If you just cut like this, like you would, you're not gonna have that nice fringed look that you want for the most part. So what you do is either use an X-Acto knife that will cut just through the fabric backing or you just take your scissors right under that fabric backing instead of under the fur and then you still have that fringed look. So I hope that made sense on such a small piece. Okay, 
we're going to make the hat now. And I am just, for this one, I'm just gonna make a the traditional like stocking cap kind of looking hat. And all I do is go around my bottle and then I go like another half turn because I want it to, to fit kind of loosely. And then I just figure how, how big do I want my hat? And I probably want it about up to there. So I'm just gonna cut straight across right there. Doesn't have to be precise. And straight up here. Get my fabric out of the way. All right, and then I need to decide, am I going to just have this or am I going to have an edging? And I've got, if I can find it, I've got this that's really popular with my workshop attendees. And even though this is more spring colors, I really do like that look. So I think we're gonna do that and we're gonna put it also around the bottom here. So I'm just gonna do that right now while I'm thinking about it. It just gives a nice finished look and makes it look soft and cuddly. This is very narrow, so and it tends to like twist on itself. So it's not hard to put on, but you do have to pay attention. And when I'm paying attention, that's when I when I get quiet. I can't talk and pay attention at the same time. Okay, almost done there. Let's see. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys have this problem too. If I get hot glue on my fingernails, they catch on everything. All right, let me just glue this down real well there under the beard. And now his beard's a mess. See, every time you comb it, more comes out. I like my dog. I think I could groom him for hours and I would still be getting hair. Okay. All right, the hat. So what I'm going to do is just fold it right sides together. I'm just going to just cut from one corner up to the top and make that pointed hat. There's some fur for a little pill or felt or a fleece. Go. Oh, they start with the same lumber letter, all get messed up. I can't even talk today. Okay, and then I'm just going to glue the slanted side together. Keep this side open because that's what's going to go on the head. Oh my I thought I had got my glue stick glued onto the previous one. Oh, let's get that twirl, twirl, twirl. Oh, that's not going to work. Very stringy today. Let's see if it'll stay this time. All right. Just a thin bead of glue all the way up. You don't need to have a ton, especially with fleece. It glues pretty easily, but you do want to make sure that you get it solidly glued so you don't have any openings when you turn it right side out. Glue it together, and now when you're gluing fabric, flab, fabric, <laughs> fabric like this, you want to make sure that you wait until it's entirely cooled before you try to turn it right side out. I'm just gonna get some of that extra stuff off. I'm gonna run and get a nose because I didn't bring a nose over. Let's see here. I think you have everything and get started and, oh, sorry if that's noisy. For some reason, I can't get to my pom-poms. Some people use um, wooden beads. I use little pom-poms, flesh-colored pom-poms. Um, other people use like a nylon that they stuff and make noses out of. You can use whatever you want. Okay, that's pretty cool.
I am just going to use the end of a pen to push that tip up. There we go. And I want to make sure it's going to fit okay. Oh, oh, perfect. Look at that. See, it's nice and loose so I can make it kind of baggy. And I'm going to just glue. Now, when you're gluing the trim onto the hat, don't do it like this because nine times out of ten, you're going to glue the hat to, or the, the hat to itself, I guess you would say. So I kind of hold it. If I can get it here. I am all thumbs today. That's crazy. I've been that way for a few days. I think I've said before, I think it might be because I got acrylic nails put back on and I'm just not used to them yet. All right, and then I'm just going to not twist this. Got to work kind of quickly because the hot glue dries very quickly, especially this. I'm using a low temp gun and the low temp guns, it dries, it dries much faster. Also doesn't burn your fingers as bad. All right, so I'm making sure I don't have it down on the other side of the hat. Cute that's gonna be. Just a little bit more. So if you are watching for the first time and you have not subscribed, I would love to have you hit the subscribe button. Um, make a comment, give me a thumbs up, that kind of thing. That really helps um, all of our channels to show up better on people's feeds and just helps us to grow. All right. Oh, look at him. He's going to be so cute. So what I do is get it on there the way I like it. And then I go to the back and I just lift up that flap and glue that down. And then it's going to stay in place while I do other things. Such as glue the nose on. And I put the nose kind of half under the hat and half out of the hat. Oh, look at him. I'm going to have to make me one of these. He is cute. Okay, I'm going to put some glue on that part of the hat and then just glue it to the nose. And then I'm just going to tack down the side. You don't really have to glue the whole thing. If you want to be able to bend the hat, you can put... Um, in fact, I think I want to do that. So I'm going to grab... Um, I've got some wire here. I'll just grab some wire and stick that in there and then you can kind of pose the hat. Ah! I've got it on the Lazy Susan. I'm sorry if I was yelling into the microphone there. Alright. Get that straightened out. I'm just going to push that up there. And I got it a little bit too long. And I think I want to put, sometimes I put stuffing in the hats and sometimes I don't, but this one Ah, uh, sorry. Oh, this one I think I want to put some stuffing in, so let me grab some stuffing. And you can stuff it as full or not full as you want. I just want to give it just a little oomph. Okay, and now I'm going to finish gluing that side. And it looks like I need to glue it here just a little bit. Um, sometimes I use pom-poms, but I think I'm just going to kind of, oh, I have, oh, look what I have right here. I have a little, like, faux cotton ball thing. I'm going to put that right on the tip of his hat. So now he's done, except, where's the little, little sign? There it is. 
I'm going to just kind of glue that sign right on the edge there, or the side. I'm the boss. <laughs> uh, got a little bit of glue showing there, so I'm just going to wipe that off before it dries completely. There we go. All right, so he's ready. Looks like the lid is dry enough. So I am going to just trim just wider than the, the lid. kind of see the words, but I think if you don't know they're there, you wouldn't even know. So, all right, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue, just a tiny bit, and just glue that down. You better make some slits. If you haven't sewn or done much crafting, if you make the little slits like this from the outside up to the surface that you're dealing with, it will lay down flat instead of puckering where if you try to do it without that, it will pucker. I don't want a ton, just enough to kind of hold that down so I can put the ribbon on. Seen so I'm quiet. Sorry. <laughs> this isn't intricate, but sometimes I, when I'm trying to do this, I can't think of things to say. So if you're a crafter, but you don't really do gnomes, tell me what kind of stuff you do. I do all kinds of things, but um, lots of gnomes. Although most of my people have, I've got their year's worth of gnomes, so I'm not having quite as many attendees lately for the gnome workshops we do other kind if you're in the anaconda area we do other kinds of workshops too so you can let me know if you're interested okay now i have to get all the glue off of my fingers so i can even function all right so then i have this love this and i hope i find some more because i'm down to my last little bit of it but i love the the white stitching on the edge of this ribbon is really cute. Alrighty. And it's like the perfect size for the rim of this lid. I guess you call it rim, the sides, whatever it is. I mean, it couldn't have been any more perfect. Look how cute that looks with the polka dots. If you wonder what I'm putting my glue gun in, this is like a silicone oven mitt from Dollar Tree. It works perfectly for holding your glue gun. And if you get the napkin holders they fit perfectly into the napkin holders if you want something a little more stable all right and then i'll cut that off okay i'm going to grab some e6000 I guess this is Gorilla Glue, clear grip, and I'm going to glue him on using a combin. Oh, you're not even going to notice that there's no, or that shows the words because you can hardly see it. Anyway, I'm going to use a combination of this and hot glue. This will hold it better in the long run. Oh, if I can get it off. I don't know if you have the same problem, but I have a problem with my glues gluing themselves shut. And this is really hard to get out once I've opened it. 
I don't know what I can do different. If you can tell me what I can do differently to keep my Gorilla Glue and my E6000 from doing this, because now it's not opening. I'll try to find something to poke a hole. Is it gonna come out? I've wasted a ton of glue like this because I, there we go. It's starting to come out. Boy, you probably can't see. I'm, I'm trying to hold the, the gnome upside down without messing with the sign or anything. Boy. Oh. Okay, finally it's coming out. Not very well, though. Okay. I think I got enough wipe off the oh now it's really wanting to come out and of course that got glued onto my fingernail okay and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue, hot glue in between those so it'll stay on right now get his fur up so I don't glue it under him and let's see I want that to be the front because I'm gonna put a little flower or something hold it. Let's see if I have one of the little flowers I was using for my, no, my um, Highland Cows. <laughs> if you could see the rest of my desk. Uh, oh, I put it back up there. I'll be right back because I'm going to go get a flower. I decided to use one of these off of a floral pick that I got at Dollar Tree. So I am going to just cut the back flat so it'll glue better. And glue it right there. I think it needs some leaves. I don't know if I can use this one or not. I'll have to find a couple of little leaves and put on there. All right, so that's all there is to this. I will show you the finished product with the candy in the jar in just a few minutes. Well, actually on the video, it'll be right next. <laughs> Talk to you later.